From Pixney, I mean Disnar. Man, these two are really starting to blend together. Comes the Disney animated film that grossed a billion dollars and finally got people to stop talking about Frozen. Let it go. Zootopia. Journey to Zootopia, a place with 12 unique ecosystems and one generic pop song. In this city that's either an impossibly advanced paradise where animals live together in harmony or a palace built by our mammal overlords in the ashes of our extinct human world after war and famine wiped us from the earth. You know, one of the two. Fall in love with smart, complex animal characters and their lazy forced pun names. His name is Emmett Otterton. It's Weaselton. Duke Weaselton. Mayor Lionheart. Benjamin Clawhauser. Like Judy Hopps. Get it? Cause she's... Uh, cinema's most likable meter maid. Actually, cinema's only likable meter maid. Because seriously, meter maids are the worst. I mean, come on, I was only in there for like five minutes. And no, you haven't written the little ticket yet, because I can see your stupid little machine right there. Get a real job, lady. My mommy says she wishes you were dead. So do I. Ah, oh, get it together, man. When Hops teams up with Foxy con artist Nick Wilde, they'll work together to catch more predators than Chris Hansen and form a sort of romance. You know you love me. Do I know that? Yes. Yes, I do. That sadly they'll never be able to consummate. Not because I'm speciesist or anything, it's just that nobody in this movie has any genitals. Or even a, you know, a butthole. And seriously, how does anyone even go to the bathroom in this place? Follow along with this kids film slash noir crime thriller, full of bright colors, cute characters, allegories to contemporary racial and class politics. You're not like them. Oh, there's a them now. Police discrimination. You think I'm gonna believe a fox? Affirmative action. Mammal inclusion initiative. Tokenism. Sir, I'm not just some token bunny. Sexism. So are all rabbits bad drivers, or is it just you? And racial slurs? A bunny can call another bunny cute, but when other animals do it, it's a little... <gasps> they will either teach your kid to be more tolerant, or turn them into a furry. So settle in for a fantastically animated, well-told lesson about disproving stereotypes. Even though the fox character really is sneaky, the weasels do cheat, and the sloths are slow. Oh, wait, no, does this mean I'm racist? I owned a bunch of rabbits when I was a kid. I mean, no, they were mine. Not that I, you know, not that they're property or... Oh, look, I love rabbits, okay? This, they came out all wrong. Go to starring. Go to starring. Starring, NYPD Bluth. The part in the trailer that made you want to see the movie. Buffa Luther, bad. Mayor Mufasa, Shakira as Shakira. Your stereotypical Italian mobster. Your stereotypical donut-eating cop. Your stereotypical dumb southerner. And hot buzz. You get it? Cause she's a funny cop, but she's hot too. Wait, now I can say that she's hot though, right? Dang it, am I a racist and a furry now? Oh, this movie is such a minefield. Paul and order. Let's see, Pig Hero 6, Wrangled, Wrecked Rhino. Hmm, I wonder what they think of Lion King in the Jungle Book. Are they like documentaries? Be sure to subscribe for more Honest Trailers. Hey, Screen Junkies, San Diego Comic-Con is just around the corner, and we want you to join us there for the most epic Screen Junkies Comic-Con experience of all time. Click the link to sign up for a chance to win an all-expenses-paid trip for you and a friend to get VIP access to our first-ever Comic-Con mega event, Screen Junkies Central. There, you'll get to see all the exclusive programming we're cooking up for Comic-Con and meet your favorite Screen Junkies personalities. Enter today for your chance to win. See you at Comic-Con. Bong Bong Dragons. GT is not canon. I never liked reading your comments in my super awesome voice. I put myself to sleep with my voice. I'm just you friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee.